So this video, we're going to show you how to assign a static IP number to your Raspberry Pi. So if you're watching this, you probably had, you might have had some trouble um, finding dex.local, and we're going to try a different path. We're going to assign a static IP number rather than the dex.local network address. So the first thing I've done is I've fired up my Raspberry Pi and I've connected it with by Ethernet to my Mac. I've got using DHCP selected, or sorry, I'll show you this. I've gone up to my network settings and I've opened network preferences. That's this. I've changed over to USB Ethernet and I've got using DHCP setup. Now with my Raspberry Pi in, I have a network between the Raspberry Pi and the Mac. And this is the IP address of the Mac. So I'm just gonna copy that number down. Um, I highlighted it, copied it. I'm gonna throw it into this blank text file I have here. Now, the next step, I'm going to take the power, I'm going to turn off my Raspberry Pi. So I'll remove the power, and I'm going to take the SD card out of it after I've turned the power off. And I'm going to put the, I'm going to open up the SD card in my Mac. So I've just put that in, and let's see if it shows up. There we go, it's boot right here. I'm going to open up a file called command cmd line. Dot text that's cmdline dot txt and if I double click that in the Mac I'll have a very long command line here that ends with root weight see that at the end r o o t w a i t after root weight I'm going to put a space and then the letters i p and then the equal sign no space between the i p and the equal sign and then I'm going to put the assigned IP number. So the safest way to take your IP num to make the IP number of the Raspberry Pi is to take this IP number that we just copied off of the uh, Mac. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in there. The last number was 110. I'm going to make the new number 111 so that this is just so that the command line.txt file is plus 1 and of the MAC address. And so I don't forget that number, I'm gonna just copy it down and I'm gonna paste it. So this is gonna be the, the new um, IP address of my Raspberry Pi. So I save this file and then I will go ahead and pull up Launchpad and eject the boot disk. Great, I'll put it back Put the disk back into my Raspberry Pi, power up the Pi, which is still connected by Ethernet to my Mac, and I'm going to pull up command line, and let's go ahead and clear this off so it's not confusing, ping dex.local, not showing up, that's okay. The lights on my ethernet are still showing up, so I'm gonna to try to ping this number, the static number that we assigned. There we go. I'm getting a positive response from the, uh, from the IP number that we assigned, the static IP. So I'm now connected if I wanted to uh, Get on dex.local, I should be able to do that. That's showing, and I might even be able to ping dex.local at this point. Yep, great. So with that static IP assigned, um, you should be able to talk to your Pi.